Our team coverage continues now on today's wild weather. Those strong winds and heavy rain knocked out power to thousands of people today. And while the worst of the storm is behind us, many communities are picking up the pieces tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal has been uh, checking out the conditions for us tonight. She's live right now in New Britain. Aya, what are you seeing there tonight? Mark and Aaron, things are looking a lot better right now. The rain and wind have come to a stop, but there's still a lot of debris left behind here in New Britain. You can see debris, trees and down power lines littering the road. And tonight power crews are still working around the clock to restore power to homes in the dark. Fierce winds, trees toppled onto cars and downed power lines. Common sights and sounds from across the state today. Winds were crazy. My garage had a leak. This New Britain resident is among the tens of thousands in Connecticut who lost power today. A tree fell on his property and brought down a pole and wires. We didn't expect it to go because I was a healthy tree and didn't expect it at all. And being quarantined at home without power, making matters more difficult for many. It sucks. I'm a senior in high school. I'm missing all the fun events and I got nothing to do. Throughout the day and into the night, Eversource and United Illuminating crews have been working around the clock to restore power. The power companies have been operating under special protocols designed to protect crews and customers amid the coronavirus pandemic. At some points during today's storm, winds exceeded 60 miles an hour. Along the shoreline, the strong winds and heavy rain made for some pretty nasty driving conditions. It's kind of like the hurricanes that were there's two in a row a couple of years ago. I just like seeing the waves and how they crash over. It's kind of scary because the waves are coming onto the road. Despite it all, eyewitnesses tell Channel 3 they did their best to make the most of the passing storm. It's been working on um, my lawn equipment and my truck and that's about it. And at last check, more than 21,000 Eversource customers are still without power tonight. A reminder, if you see any down power lines, do not touch them and make sure to keep a safe distance from power crews. Reporting live tonight in New Britain, Aya Glal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.